Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. I am Akif Mateen from ABFX Trading Corp. Now we are gonna tell you tell you about our market view uh, for 28th October 2015. It's now 11 and 11 16 a.m. on GMT 6 plus 6 Bangladesh Standard Time. Now what we have posted in our in our blog is that. That US dollar could be strong on 28 October 2015. Now, our suggestion was to buy USD CAD and USD JPY and to sell Euro USD, GBP USD, AUD USD, and NZD USD to any suitable point. Now, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for our latest reviews. So, what we think that uh, you know, yesterday, yesterday our uh, US dollar was also so much strong now uh, what we saw is that uh, in almost every pair Euro USD was very much strong except USD JPY now uh, today there was a JPY uh, news today morning at 5.50 a.m. that was JPY retail sales and that actually decreased so much the previous value was 0.8 percent and now it is minus 0.2 percent so obviously we can say that JPY is very weak now now if you look at uh, uh, for AUD CPI what happened that it also reduced uh, from 0.7 to now at the present value 0.5 so we could also say that AUD also is weak so we got a perception of the two pairs like USD JPY and AUD USD and we saw that USD JPY uh, could get bull and uh, AUD USD could get a massive bear so what we see in the market let's look out now here <coughs> it is the chart of USD JPY of our previous day entries which didn't hit TP well it almost uh, got so close didn't hit TP for only six people only, but uh, we are not so much uh, frustrated about it because we know that today that US dollar is also much strong. So, and on the other hand, JPY is also weak. So obviously, we are now expecting USD JPY to hit to hit uh, 120.8. Now, what we see about USD CAD, well. We told you earlier that USD uh, CAD is a oil currency, so we have to look up. At, uh, we have to have a look up at the oil. So, if uh, we see that the oil prices get lower, then obviously uh, or lower uh, below these uh, moving average 53 uh, support levels. So obviously we can see that USD CAD could get bull, uh, and it will end up up to. Uh, you know today's ATR says uh, 100 pip should be uh, moved uh, by USD CAD so we are expecting that it um, uh, at least to hit uh, 0.333 levels I mean uh, 0.333 levels and it's obviously a 60 pip up from right now uh, but we are not sure about the oil currency uh, that it would get sell or not so we cannot you know say uh, hundred percent sure the USD CAD would can could get by so uh, we are not taking any interest uh, to it what we look up about euro USD well euro USD is fundamentally weak uh, but um, you know the situation is uh, very you know uh, sideways here you know previous day we told that uh, the dollar is strong but still uh, euro USD was uh, much uh, sideways so uh, we are you know confused about euro USD right now uh, uh, but about GBP USD, we can say that yes, obviously, it's a good uh, thing to take a sell entry uh, right now. So we are gonna take an entry here. So yeah. So what will be our target then? The ATR says that uh, it could move at least a bear uh, from uh, 80 pip at least. Now it already moved 20 pip, so uh, we can expect uh, at least uh, 50 or 40 pip. Let's say 40 pip uh, bear movement from uh, what we expected and uh, the level is 0 0.52605 well that's our level okay. so 
if it gets TP, well, uh, it's 40 pip TP only. Now, um, let's see about a UD USD. What happened? If you see, uh, AUD USD CPI report uh, has a very much, uh, you know, it made AUD very much weak. So, I hope that it's not the right time to take any entry of U, uh, AUD USD if it retraces at least, um, what did I say about it? At least 50%. Yep, here. 0 0.715, 7 4, 575, whatever the level it is. If it, uh, you know, get bulls to here, then we can take a sell entry from uh, here for at least uh, 40 pip or 50 pip. So, uh, currently I'm not sure about it because uh, the ATR said it, it it could move 75 pip, it already moved 95 pip. So, uh, I'm not expecting any entry points here. Same as NZD USD. So, I'm not sure about its entries right now. So, So what, are, what, what am I expecting is that USD JPY could get buy and uh, GBB USD could get sell. So that's our uh, point of view for today. And uh, now uh, uh, we're gonna you know announce something for you uh, that uh, for Bangladeshi traders, if uh, uh, you need some educational support related to currency trading or forex trading, uh, you can you know like our page or the professional training institute and uh, you can uh, have a course uh, you can do a course you can conduct a course here it's a two month course uh, I hope it could be very helpful for you uh, because if you look up over our content I mean our syllabus I hope that uh, it's a very good syllabus for you to learn uh, yeah there they are Well, uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, we will teach you about Fibonacci sequences, other uh, metadata indicators, chart patterns, support resistance is obviously main thing. Then obviously, uh, Elliott Wave, uh, also we will teach you about stock, we will teach you about uh, COT reports and inside the banks things. We the most important thing that uh, the Bangladeshi traders actually lacks is a fundamental knowledge we will provide you that in this course then obviously uh, how to select the currency pair where to trade where not to and each and everything a trader has to know uh, trading in both stock and foreign exchange markets so obviously we will provide you all of that and stay tuned to uh, our uh, blog for our latest updates and obviously uh, in our uh, YouTube channel so thank you guys for watching our videos and uh, and let's see if you have any opinions please let us know uh, our email address uh, is uh, AB Forex Trading Corp at the rate of gmail.com so contact with us uh, so that's from just for now so thank you all